Hello friends, myself Dashan Kumar Dash, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel, Smart Tech Magic. Let's start with today's tech news, so without any further delay, let's begin. The first news is coming from Snapchat. Snapchat dual camera feature was introduced on Monday as a new way to allow Snapchatters to capture two perspectives at the same time. The new feature will let you use both front and back cameras at the same time to capture photos and videos. Snap's camera is one of the most used camera in the world, the company says. The dual camera feature comes with four layouts and the Snapchatters can use creative tools such as stickers and lenses to make content. As per the company, the Snapchat dual camera will be available globally on iOS with Android support coming in the next month. The next news is coming from NASA. NASA announced on Monday that the Artemis 1 SLS Orion spacecraft launch has been halted due to the issue with one of the rocket's engines. Minutes after the spacecraft was scheduled to blast off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida earlier, the US Space Agency explained that the launch of Artemis 1, NASA's first step towards putting humans back to moon has been scrubbed. Meanwhile, the next launch date will be announced at the later stage according to NASA. The next news is coming from National Institute of Standards and Technology US demonstrating that a cloud of atoms can be used as a receiver to pick up video transmission. Researchers have developed an atomic television. The television uses atom clouds and lasers to carry video signals that meet the traditional standard resolution. Atom-based communication systems are believed to be smaller and can tolerate more noise than the conventional electronics. The atoms used in the device are prepared in high-energy Rydberg states which are unusually sensitive to electromagnetic fields, including radio signals. The team from National Institute of Standards and Technology US prepared gaseous ruby rubidium atoms in Rydberg states in glass containers using two different color lasers in order to receive signals. A stable radio signal is applied to the atom filled glass container. Here the energy shifts in the Rydberg atoms that modulate the, that carrier signal can be detected by the team. The next news is coming from IRCTC. IRCTC food delivery service Zoo has partnered with Reliance owned Haptic to provide online food delivery services on trains via WhatsApp. With the latest collaboration, passengers can order food via chatbot on the instant messaging app without downloading any additional app and get it delivered to their seats while traveling. Passengers have to enter their PNR number to take to place the order and the service offers real-time tracking. The next news is coming from Meta and Geo platforms. Meta and Geo platforms on Monday launched a first of its kind end-to-end -end shopping experience on WhatsApp. Consumers in India can now shop from GeoMart right within the WhatsApp app. They can access and browse through GeoMart's grocery catalog and items to cart and make payment to complete the purchase within the app. Development comes as Mukesh Ambani Reliance Industries Chairman and Managing Director announced at the 45th Annual General Meeting that she will be rolling out 5G services in India by October. As per the press statement from Geo, GeoMart is a global first initiative and the GeoMart on WhatsApp will enable users in India including those who have never shopped online before to shop via WhatsApp by simply sending hi to the GeoMart number 91 sorry not 91 7977079770 on WhatsApp the launch is a part of the strategic partnership between Meta and Geo platforms that was announced in 2020 the next news is coming from Samsung. Samsung Galaxy S22 series is getting a new camera update. The update brings several camera improvements including bigger guide size and faster scanning speed while scanning QR codes from the quick panel and more. Samsung has also optimized the memory and AI engine in photo, night and video mode according to the blog post. The 
update also offers optimized HDR image quality in photo mode according to Samsung the August camera update for the Galaxy S22 series adds support for the telephoto rear camera in hyperlapse mode the company is also working on an astronomical hyperlapse feature as well that is said to be released later. The Samsung Galaxy S22 series was unveiled in February this year. The company is yet to reveal the regions where the updates will be available. The next news is regarding the launch of a new game. A new Mafia game familiarly known as Mafia 4 has been confirmed by the developer Hangar 13 in Mafia 20th anniversary interview, general manager Roman Laddie stated that a new project was in development and that is a few years away from the official unveil as a part of the celebration publisher 2K Games in giving away the original Mafia title for free on PC. The game can be redeemed on Steam from September 1 through September 5 after which it, it is yours to keep. So that's a really great news. If you are a fan of Mafia then go and claim the game from September 1 to 5 from Steam. Rumors of new Mafia game have been doing the round since May with reports claiming that it will be prequel to the existing trilogy. The plan was to make it in Unreal Engine 5 while teaching the Mafia 3 engine that was used for the recent unpolished remasters. While the developers have not directly attested to this, the new interview from Hangar 13 confirms that the new iteration in the crime simulation franchise is in works. Laddie also refrained from calling it Mafia 4, though which kind of aligns with the league. So that's all for today's news. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and find this video helpful, then please hit the like button. Like target is only 50. Please help me to complete my target. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, then please subscribe it and tap the bell icon beside it. And on the bell icon, select all to watch my latest videos before anyone else. So once again, thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Until then, stay happy, stay safe and goodbye.